Hello everybody, uh, it's Squishy Stitches. I'm coming for my 24 hours of cross stitch update. So the first hour I worked on this one, which is Beauty and the Beast uh, by Dona Stitch. So I was working on these stairs. I think I got three done, plus this little blip over there. And that's where I'm at. I'm planning on doing a different project every hour. Oh, where did I put my phone? Um, so, we're going to spin for my next project. And then I will get it and show it to you. Spinning. Okay, happily ever after. That's a good one. I will. No, well, it's actually just ever after, but I will grab that. Alright, I'm back. I had to find the magazine. I found the stitch right away because I've worked on it. Put the magazine away, but not the stitch. So this is Ever After. It is a pattern by Emma Congdon. This is what the finished product will be, other than I changed the lettering to green or teal because I love teal. I don't love pink. So that's that. It is in the magazine cross-stitch crazy um, April 2016 if you want it it's not on her website sadly but that's what I'm going to be working on for this hour what I will do is I will just keep working on the lettering over this way so I'll see you in an hour hello everybody I'm here for the hour two check-in so it called for ever after and I got the I and part of the L for happily done. So that's what I got done in that hour. Now we're going to pick a new project. So let me pull up the app. Do, 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 do. Okay, there it's spinning. husband's Christmas stocking. Let me go grab that. I'll be right back. Alright, so it called for my husband's Christmas stocking. And this is what I've got done on his stocking. So that's the starting point. And what it is, is Donna Gelsinger's Enchanted Christmas with the Reindeer. So... I'll work on that and I'll let you know where we end up. Bye. My bunny fell. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Shenandoah. I'm here for hour three. So this is how far I got. Right there. If you can see I did this little thing and that little thing and that's about it. <clears throat> it was about a hundred stitches, which is not bad for an hour. Uh, so, where did I put my phone? Let's spin for something new. Alright. Wheel of whips spinning. My fox. Let me go grab that. Hello. Okay. So my fox is a Riolis crustage, and this is where I'm at. 
So I know last time I was working over here and that's probably where I'll continue just filling out the background. So I'll see you in an hour. Hello, I am back. Uh, oops, dropping the pattern. <laughs> so I got the fourth hour of 24 hours of cross stitch done. And this is where I got, I got most of this gray thing done. So that's where I finished up. And now we are going to draw for a new one. Or spin. We're going to spin. And we'll see what comes up. My carrot. <laughs> so we're going to fork on a carrot. Let me go grab it and I'll show you. So, what I'm working on is this little artiste mini carrot. I got that one and an eggplant one for my kitchen to put up someday. No real plans on when, I just think they're kind of cute. Uh, but I haven't been terribly motivated to stitch on them because in a year and a half, <laughs> that's all I have done. So. We will work on this for an hour and see where we get. See you soon. Hello, I'm back after hour five. Uh, I pulled out my vegetable or my carrot stitch, which was this. And this is what I got done in the hour. So I started converting it over to a diagonal stitching because it is a full coverage so I'm doing it my preferred way. So that's how far I got on that and now let us see what the next hour holds for us. Pulling up my... I should pull this up before but I don't think of it so I do apologize. spinning maybe no we are spinning now okay so that's my frosted pumpkin stitchery winter stitch let me grab that real quick I don't have a picture printed out of it but I'll insert one over here so I'll be right back okay so the wheel pulled the frosted pumpkin stitchery uh, secret sleigh club one which is this it's the winter one so that's what I'll work on I think what I'll do is probably work on the houses a little bit because it's only a hundred or an hour. I know there's a mistake somewhere up here, so, but I don't remember exactly where. I know I have to like frog the whole upper half. So I'll work on the houses. I'll see you in an hour. Hello, it's me again back for hour five of the 24 hours of cross stitch to show what I accomplished. Uh, so this is what I got done. I finished the tree and the icicles because it turns out this part's all counted out it's the houses that are off so I'll finish up here first before I move down here next time I pull it out so that's what I got done and then let's spin for a new one okay 
spin, spin, spin. I forgot to turn the TV off. I'm sorry. Bird. Okay, so that's an ornament I'm working on for my stepmom. Be right back and I'll show it to you. Alright, so I grabbed the bird. So this is it. It's a uh, Dimensions Gold pattern. This is the Gold Finch one. I've done the chickadee already. I've been working on this one in diagonal cross stitch. So that's where I'm at at that. And I will work on it for the next hour. See where we get. See you soon. Bye. Hello again. I'm back for the update for our one, two, three, four. Hour five. <laughs> it's easy to forget where you are. Are you sure it's hour five? Did that, did that, did that. Yeah, bye. I'm keeping the projects out till I'm done, that way I don't lose this track as easily. So, I worked on the bird, the joy bird. Didn't get much done. Got from out there at the top of the wing down to the bottom of the wing there and that's it it's kind of hard to get into this pattern for some reason probably because I didn't highlight everything so I had to figure it all out but it's all highlighted now so that one's done and then let's figure out what's coming up for hour six <laughs> Ah, my teacups. That one I'll probably be frogging for the whole hour, to be honest. But I'll go grab it. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. So the teacups is probably my most... I'm going to finish this one day if it kills me pattern. Because I have started it three times now and had to restart three times. So this is what it is. You can see it. It is by Candlemar Designs. I bought it when I was 14 the first time. And I got down to, as we're working from the top down, I got down to this grapevine teacup. And I moved. And I lost the pattern. So I bought it again after a few years. I had tossed everything because I didn't have it. And I got to the yellow teacup, and I moved, and it stayed in a storage tote at my old house for a couple years. And when I got back to it, mice had chewed on it. And so then I started it again. I bought it again a couple years ago, and I was doing diagonal. And I missed a whole thing of 10 stitches. So I decided to restart it again, fourth time. And I decided I wanted to do it on a different fabric. I wanted to do it on 18 count. And so I bought some 18 count opalescent Ada. And I have restarted it down here. But I know. I miscounted something. So I have to figure out what I miscounted and rip everything out. So maybe instead of ripping everything out, I will just start from the top and just work my way down. Back when I started, I didn't know anything about parking. So I can park as I go. It just won't be on a diagonal or anything. I'll do it. Kind of like Miss Oh So Crafty does. Where she works till she's at the end of a spot and works something else in that area. At least that's what I think she does because that's what it looks like. 
So that's what I will work on. So I will see you soon. Have fun. Hello. Back for an update in hour six. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yeah, hour six. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers. So that's what I got done. It's the very top of the top of the sugar bowl. I did start it over from the top this time because I figured I didn't want to spend the whole hour picking it out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I made a mistake already. I spent half the time picking out anyway. <laughs> but, you know, that's life. So, let's figure out what we're doing for hour seven. stocking again. Well, I don't want to repeat, so we're not. Okay, well, the battery died, so we're gonna spin again. So, here we go. Ah, my Aurora Borealis one. It's Northern Lights by Stitch Rovia. I just recently worked on that one. So let me grab it. Be right back. Right, so this is the Northern Lights by Stitch Rovia. Sorry, it's very see-through. Uh, but that's what I will be working on for the next hour. Um, I believe I was working on a greenish color or a whitish, so we'll figure it out as soon as I pull up the pattern. See you in an hour. Hello, I'm back. Uh, I had miscounted. I knew I had, I just couldn't find it. So I'm on hour eight, no, hour seven. So hour eight, got this done. I got the green over here done. So that's it for that one. Now let's see what we're doing next. Do, 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 do. Okay, where's the app? There it is. All right, spin the wheel. That is annoying as heck. Oh, we already did the fox. See what's next. And that one. That one's done. <laughs> I need to take that one off the list. Okay. Third time's the charm, right? And it's the fox again. No. It's Maui Princess. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll show you her. Alrighty. So I've got her. This is what she will look like when she is done. It was a freebie on Heaven and Earth Designs. It no longer is, but you can get the full size. Um, it's from Hannah. Uh, Hannah... It's saying Hannah Disney for some reason. I don't know. I thought it was Hannah Lynn. Let me check because I have another Hannah Lynn. Pretty sure it's supposed to be Hannah Lynn. Dragon 11 
Hidden treasures. Yeah, it used to be Hannah Lynn, but apparently it's now Hannah Disney. I don't know. Let me check on Hyde. That seems really weird. Because I know it was Hannah Lynn. Yeah. Hannah Lynn. I don't know why I charge sent Hannah to Disney. Whatever. Hey, it looks like I belong on a truck stop. Anyway. This is what I've got done. Uh, this is my first ever Heaven and Earth designs. Because of the deep black lines, I was just doing it page by page. Which will be much easier now that I have Pattern Keeper. Um, the thing that bothers me is the fabric isn't woven straight. So I'm really hoping that the whole thing will fit. <laughs> but if not, it'll just be part of the bottom cut off. It'll be fine as long as it's not her face. Right? Right. I will see you in an hour. Hello! I'm back. My hair is a little nuts right now, so... Yeah, when you shave part of your head, the growing out process is weird. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so, hour nine. There we go. So, I was working on my Maui princess. I worked on this part of the leaf. Well, I worked on this whole leaf. I basically did the whole thing. So that's what I got done. And now we gonna spin for the new one. It's always scary when you open up your phone and it's front facing camera, so you get this picture of you from. Uh, <laughs> from that view. Okay, there we go. Spin. Ding. Dong. Ah, my son's stalking. So that is Magical Arrival. Let me go grab it. Be right back. All right, so the wheel spun Magical Arrival, which is my son's stocking, which is this one. So we will do an hour on this and see where we end up. See you soon. Hello, everybody. Actually, it's good morning. I decided I needed to sleep. I didn't want to deal with the frog if I didn't sleep. So I did go to bed. And then this morning I woke up and I started this. Um, let me check real quick. So this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is our eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this is our ten. That's what I thought. Yep. So we had drawn uh, the Magical Arrival stocking. That's my son's Christmas stocking. So I got this bit right through here stitched in. And that's where I finished up on that. So now let's see what we're up for for hour 11. I 
I've got a stiff shoulder from sleeping where it weird. Alright. I changed it to an alien. Mackinac Island. So let me go grab it and I'll show it to you guys. Alright, so I've grabbed it. So what it is, is it's a cross stitch of Mackinac Point Lighthouse. Uh, we went to Mackinac Island in the spring uh, and we toured the lighthouse. And every time I go on a trip I get a cross stitch to commemorate it. So this is the Lighthouse from Mackinac, the Mackinac trip, and that's how far I am. I'll just keep working on the brown house. <laughs> I, it's something I could easily get done in a weekend, but I don't find it fun to work on, so that's why it's taking so long. But I'll work on that, and I'll be back in an hour. Bye. Hello everybody, it's me again, back with another hourly update. So this is where I got, so I filled in, I finished the windows over here, and I got a little bit over there. So, that's where I got for the 11th hour, and now we are on to the 12th, we're halfway there. Last time I tried this, I only got to hour nine, so I'm doing good. And we're gonna spin as soon as I find the app. Do do do. There it is. Uh, my husband's texting me. He broke the tar. <laughs> the car. He. Doesn't know what he ran over, but he ran over something last night on his way to work, because he works third shift, and bent the rim of the tire. So he just had that fixed. So, yay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to spin. Okay, so that's a new start. It's going to be a house ornament for my mother-in-law. Let me go grab it and we will decide which house we're going to do. Alright, be right back. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Whoa, there is money in here. Hey, $40! It's nice to find money. You got an extra $40? <laughs> yes, I found $40. <laughs> My kid's excited about that too. So, I've done this one, which is a Victorian home because she loves Victorian homes. But I think I'm going to do this one. That's the one I think I want to do. Or the church. Riker, the blue house or the church? Hmm. Show you eeny, meeny, miny, Whichever you want. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So the we're church. doing the church. Yeah. So we're going to do that right there. Yeah. So I will start that and be back in an hour. Bye. Bye. Alrighty. Hour 12 is done. So, as this is how far I got. I was going to tell you what it was again, but you really literally only saw this 30 seconds ago. So that's what I got done. And now, on to figuring out what's next. There's a wish it coming in here to say hi. Hi! <laughs> Come 
come here. And if you're wondering, I brought these. Those are Beyblades if you don't know. I know. Well, they might not. That's true. They might not know. That's what one of them looks like. This is the other one. Do you remember their names? Well, I know that I know that this one is Pegasus. I just but I don't not but I do not know what this one's name is. Okay, is it Crabeus? I don't know. It's like a mental fusion version of Crabeus. That can become an attack type. And it and ev and you can see there's like little <laughs> notches there. Pull the notches, and it expands the blades. Yep. Okay, mommy's got to do this part. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna spin and see what's next. So that's my peacock, which I think is right down here. Nope, oh, I put it away. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is the peacock. And that's what I have done. So I will continue working on the flowers over here. And I'll see you in an hour. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hour 13 is down, and we're moving on to 14. So let me show you my progress. So this is the one I was working on, the peacock. And I got this bit down here, and a couple little blips up here. And that's where I got for this hour. Let's see what we are working on next hour. Unspoken. Okay, so that's when I started for on our, my wedding anniversary. Uh, I'll go grab it and show you where we're at. Not very far, but you know. Okay, so this is Unspoken. Well, that's that part of it. Uh, I can pull up the picture. There's my phone. And it is by Julie Fain, and that's what it will look like. So, we'll see you in an hour. Bye. Alright, everybody. Hour 14 is finished. So, that's where I got. It's all one color, so it's pretty fast stitching. So, I just did this little bit through here. And now, let's see what's next. Do -do -do. Come on, waiting for the app to load. Okay, we're gonna spin it. And we already did that one. So we spin in it again. Because we're not repeating, and I don't want to get rid of this because this is my main list for my weekly choices. Ooh, great wave, yes! Be right back to show you that one. Alright, so what got rolled was this one, the great wave off of Kanagawa 
um, God, what is the artist's name again? Hokusai. And it's a discontinued chart. I was looking for, oh, a good year for this one. And that's what I've gotten. Oops, upside down. So that's that. Um, over here is where the wave is going up. Ah! <laughs> and this little bit right here is Mount Fuji. So, obviously there's a page break right there. So I will work on this one for a bit. It's been a while because I've been focused on other things. But it will be nice to get back to this one. So I will see you in an hour and we'll see where I got. Bye. Hello everybody. It's me and Riker and Red Junior and Jewel. <laughs> okay. So another hour up and we got this. So I worked on this blue through here. <laughs> You're a goof. Somebody had to be in the snippet. Okay, and so now we're gonna spin for the next project. Does that say Area 51? No, not right. Can't see it in the Wait camera. a second, it says Area 51 UFO. <laughs> okay. Ah, Gypsy Firefly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, buddy, would you go get that from my stand over by the couch? Breaker's gonna go. Okay, so this. Is Jewel and Red Junior, and this is Gypsy Firefly by Amy Stewart, and where is it? This is a big piece of fabric. <laughs> So I had quite a bit done, but it was all done in tent stitch, and I've come to the conclusion that I didn't enjoy that. So I have restarted, and that's my restart. And so, if we're lucky, I can finish that little bit right there. True! And that's the end of this segment. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. I'm back for hour 17. Uh, I had restarted this down in the lower corner, but then I was looking at this and the coverage is good. And that's a lot of work. I don't want to rip it out. So I'm just going back to this. So I just picked around with a few of the smaller colors in there. Just filling out little bits of space. You can't really tell anything was done, but it was. So that's where we're at for our 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, hour 16. So now we're moving on to hour 17. Let's see what the wheel picks. And at this point, it's getting to be a real struggle. I am tired, and my ADD is kicking in, and I don't really want to stitch. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get at least one more hour tonight, and then sleep, and then we can get the rest tomorrow. That's my plan. So we're going to spin.
Smoky Mountain Cats. All right. I haven't worked on that one in a while. I'll get it right out. All right. So Smoky Mountain Cats. This is mine is from Janlin. Um, the original pattern was created by Pegasus. Uh, my Aunt Jo had this one. And I always loved it. And one day I saw it on eBay and I had to get it because I want it in my house. It's a good remembrance of her, and it's a gorgeous stitch. It's just not my normal style. I like my complicated confetti heaven, heavy, heaven and earth designs. But this one is so pretty, I can't... One of these days, I will finish it. Uh, this is my oldest whip. Excuse me, I burped. So we will get through this. Or we, well, obviously I'm not finishing it tonight. But I will be working on this. Uh, looks like I was working over here. So I'll just continue over in here. And I'll let you know where we get. Bye. Hello everybody. It's actually the next day. I just couldn't bring myself to do any more stitching yesterday. Because I was tired. So... I finished it up this I did my hour this morning. So here it is. I worked on filling in the rest of the dark blue line and then the ears right there. So that was hour 17. Now sadly officially my 48 hours is up, but I think I'm just going to continue until it's at, until I get through 24 projects. I mean that's really the spirit of this thing anyways. So, I'm going to spin again. The nice thing about this is because I'm touching so many different projects, it makes me want to get back to them. Like Maui Princess I really want to work on because she's, and she's been in hiatus for a couple years. So that's nice. But, let's spin. did I do? I turned off my phone. Uh, <laughs> she's almost done spinning. Lighthouse, we already did that one. We already did the bird. Maybe a third time's the charm. Space Traveler, that's one of my heaven and earth designs. So let me go grab it. All right, so I'm back and this is uh, project that got pulled was uh, Space Traveler, which is by David Hoffrichter, which is that one. I know, it's a popular one, but I only have the PDF. So this is what I've got. Unfortunately, it is retired, so you have to find a hard copy somewhere, which, at least not to break copyright laws. So anyway, that's where I'm at, and I will work on this for an hour. I had just recently worked on this and converted it over to diagonal, so it'll be good. It's good to get back to it, even though I just worked on it last week. <laughs> I will see you soon. Hello, everybody. I'm back again for the update. It's been a little while because, well, we went to go see Frozen 2, because... Riker really wanted to see it, and we had the extra money because I found the money yesterday, which was actually $80 rather than $40. So that was pretty awesome. I do this thing where I stash money in random places, and then I find it, and it's like, ooh! It either goes to bills or something fun. This time we decided to do something fun. Uh, but 
this is the update. So I worked through here, just filling in threads. I got like these threads all done. But that's what I got for the 18th installment. So now we are going to look at what we're doing for the 19th. Okay, I've edited. <laughs> A lot less options, but we're going with it. Okay, so, uh, let me grab her. Be right back. Okay, so this is another retired pattern. It is Snow by Maxine Gad. Uh, it's a heaven and earth design. I know Maxine Gad has her own cross stitch patterns. Uh, and this is one of them that you can purchase. I don't know how good it is. Uh, but you can get something. I just don't know if it's as good, equal, better than Heaven and Earth Designs. I have no idea. I've never done one of hers. Uh, but I know it's available. So this is where I am so far. Oh, and it would be under, like, MaxineGad.com. Let me look it up. And I'll make sure to link it under below. And just or down so I remember to edit that in. Um, do, do, do. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Chrome, not Instagram. Okay, I was completely wrong. It's imaginariumcrossstitch.com. So. Mm -hmm. She has some lovely ones. I might have to get one. That's what it looks like. I mean, seriously. I might have to get that. <laughs> to test out one of her patterns, see if they're good. However, this is where I'm at. So this is hour 19. And it goes this way. And I will let you know where we get. Bye. Alright, so hour 19 is done. I actually got quite a bit done. I got all of that. So I'm quite pleased with that progress. So let's see what is next. I already took that one off so we won't pull it again. Okay, so Mandragora. I'll be right back with that one to show you what that looks like. Dropping stuff. Alright. So Mandragora is this. Um, it is a pattern from... I don't remember. I'll put it down below. Um, I call it my angry potato. And it looks like this. It is on a green fabric from Jodery Designs. I think it's like Emerald Forest or something. I'll also put that below. And that's what it looks like so far. And we will see where I get it to in the next hour. This was also the project I couldn't find. So I found it. Okay. Be back. Hello again. I'm back with our 20 results. So, 
working on this one. I got the legs in, I finished the arm, and I was working on this thing up there. So, just pecking away at little bits. Sometimes that's all it is. So, let's figure out what's next. Shall we? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Just making sure I took it off. I think that's evolutions. Yep. That's Pokemon evolutions. So let me grab it real quick and we'll see where that is. Stay. So what it is is the possibilities evolutions in rainbow which is a Pokemon one uh, by Walking Melons um, and it's on the Heaven and Earth website. I have the mini in max colors and this is what I've got done. I was kind of doing all over one color at a time. I think I'm still going to continue that. I was working on, it looks like black, it might be 939. The light in this room is not great. So I'll continue working over here and we will see where we get to in the next hour. So this is 21. We've got four hours left and then I have to cobble all this together to make a video. But one thing at a time, right? See you soon. Alright, we're back. I finished another hour. Uh, so, got all this black done. Because uh, I use Pattern Keeper, it tells me how many stitches. I got 203 in that hour. Not usually that fast, so I don't know. My needle was on fire. But that's where I got. So let's see... Uh, what's next? So I did not add more, it just when it gets to a certain amount, the app just doubles it. So we're spinning. Ah, okay. So that is going to be Strike a Balance by Emma Congdon. Let me go grab it. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. This is what the pattern is. I love that one. It is so pretty. Uh, this is where I'm at. So. I've got all of the black done on this yin yang. And some of it done on this side. I think I'll work on the black. I was filling in some color just because I was needing a break, which is fine. I love this orange color I picked, or this fabric I picked for this, which ironic. Let me show you something. It came with this pattern, and you can see the fabric in there. It's like this right here is a nice peachy color. Is that peach? Mm -mm. It came with gold. So that's why I bought new fabric for that one. And then I wanted to start this one, the Strike a Balance, in the worst way. And so I was like, you know, borders aren't quite big enough really on the sides but I can make that work for framing and the gold color will be perfect because all you really see is like right here and I'll probably leave that much around for framing and then, yeah, it will be framed round, obviously, otherwise that would be weird. If 
I can find a round frame the right size. So otherwise I'll have to get it professionally framed and that's not cheap. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to work on this. I'll see you in an hour. Bye. Hello everybody. I'm back with... I just recounted and it's hour 23 done. I've kept forgetting to count the fox. <laughs> so this is where I got. I was working on the whale tail and the whale tail is now finished. So before I was up here and now it's done. So that was that one. And so let us spin for the last one. The last one. Pulling up the app. Okay, we'll see what we get. Still a couple projects on there. Village. That one is actually right next to me. I just have to grab it. So that one is this. It is by Ebersart. And it is right here. It's just wedged in. So I've been piling all the patterns on top of it. Because you know, why not? And so this is what I've got done. And so I'll just work on this a little bit. I'll figure out where I'm at and go from there. Probably work on the tree over here or fill in this area down here. I'll figure it out. I haven't worked on this one in a long time. Uh, I really love the picture. I really hate the pattern. And I'm going to show you why. So, the, well, actually, let me show you the color key. That'll make more sense, won't it? So this is a very confetti heavy pattern, which doesn't bother me. But this is the color key. There is a black tea. There is, well, as you can see, they use the same symbols. There is a dark blue tea. Um, arrows, there's black arrows, there's red arrows, there's dark blue arrows, and I believe there are green arrows. And so the dark blue and the purple or black look the same on the paper, on the chart. And so you really have to focus to figure out what you're doing. <laughs> so that's why I don't work on that one, this one that much. Because while I love the pattern, I don't love the chart. But I'll work on it. Because I do want to get it done. So where did I... Anyway, I'll see you in an hour. Hello everyone. I'm back for the last update for 24 hours of cross stitch, which was this one again. It's Fairy Tale Town by Abris Arts. It looks like that when it's finished, which will be many, 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 many years from now, because this fabric is six feet long. So it's like 18 inches long, or tall, and 6 feet long. 
and I've got this much done. <laughs> but I like the project. Alright, so that was all of that. So I'm just going to do my regular little floss tube update of what I got done last week. So last week my project was uh, Beauty by Dona Stitch. So I got all of this thing, these stairs, I filled in this swoop, and I got this down here done. And that was what I got done there. The other project was, once I find it, this would be hard, but you would think, with it, almost all my projects sitting right here, which is one I work on every week was my son's stocking. So I had finished another diagonal on there and then I did work on this a bit for 24 hours of cross stitch. Um, if I do 630 stitches a week on this one it will be done by Christmas. So it is my focus project for the year but I like to work on other things as well. So Let's spin for this week's project because that's what I do, just because I like the randomization. Otherwise, I get stuck in deciding what to work on and just sit there for three days working on nothing. This is a different one. Okay, Journey Home. That is one that did not get drawn for 24 hours of cross stitch. I will go grab it and show it to you, and we will work on that this week.